Hi, Taurus. It's um, with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. This reading could resonate with anyone um, who has Taurus strongly in their chart, but please be discerning as you listen to this message to make sure that it's for you. Um, I would hate to have you walk away feeling um, uncentered or confused or feeling um, like you're being torn away from your own destiny. Um, this reading is supposed to help you feel inspired and confident and comfortable. Um, so if you're not feeling like that, it's probably not your your story. Um, I am excited to this reading for, for Taurus. I'm going to go ahead and get into the, the um, shuffling right now. If you, don't, if you pr prefer not to watch the shuffling, um, just please move forward into the reading, into the video to where the reading begins. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get started here for you. What is the current energy for the sign of Taurus? What is the, I felt it. I felt it, Taurus. I kind of stumbled a little bit as I got into your energy, and I didn't even have a, I felt like my introduction wasn't even, it was kind of choppy, wasn't it? Ah, Taurus, what is happening? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Seven energies. There's some sort of crisis happening for this group. Um, something's happening where you're revising something in your life. There's an ending here. So this is a group of Taurus people that are working to to have a new beginning. Oh, I'm not. I can't look at me. See. I'm turning this over. Just for now, I'm going to turn it over, okay? Because it's going to draw me in. <sighs> All right. What is coming in next for the Taurus people? This group of Taurus people, what is incoming next? What will they be stepping into next? What will they be stepping into next? What will they be stepping into next for Taurus? What will Taurus be stepping into next? All right. I, ooh, a damn tower. All right. And let's look at guidance for Taurus. Let's get guidance for tower. Look, I said guidance for tower. See that? That's why I have to flip it, else it'll it'll keep it'll keep pulling me in. All right, let's open it back up now. All right, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space. It's wonderful to have you here. Um, I am excited about um, bringing forward this story for those of you that are going through a major change in your life. Um, thank you for being here. I am using the Wheel of the Year Tarot, and there will be an extended reading after this reading that will go into um, a few energies I usually go deeper into four energies and then I'll take this scenario and I'll move it out four waves of energy or four months however you prefer to look at it but tarot is kind of hard to tell to be accurate with timing for tarot so um, I, I prefer to say four waves of energy four different ways of energy but you know it's how we all find find resonance so look now I'm procrastinating okay no more procrastination. Let's just dig right into this energy. Damn it. This is something that it, it, it was just, it feels really unfair. It feels really, if I want to swear, I want to stomp my feet. I want to bang my head on the wall. Um, something here wasn't fair. Something here was so unjust. It was not Something was not, it was not written into the contract. It wasn't part of the deal. It wasn't part of what was meant to happen, right? And it was really unfair when I get into these energies. Seven energy. So it created some sort of change. And I feel like it could have been fast change. Like this, this is an energy that could have happened really fast. Yeah, it could have happened really fast. The tower with the seven of swords. Some, there's betrayal here. There's theft. There's something here that was um, it was undercurrent. It was not transparent. It wasn't forward facing. It wasn't open to the public. It was it was something that was deep and dark and in the undercurrent, in the underbelly, in the underground. And then it poked its head up and 
here you are now working to create something new, right? So, so you're, you're looking at, see this, this seven came in with this tower. It created some sort of momentum in change. And now with this seven is there is some sort of create and working to create something new working to create an ending and working to create something new. So while this energy was fast, it was significant, it was destructive, this energy is a more slow energy with the Seven of Pentacles on the world energy. It's a slower energy. I feel like whatever this was, it created some need for revision and the revision could take a little bit of time and the beginning of something new can take a little bit of time. So fast energy, destructive energy, and then a rebuilding energy in some way. So, um, if, if you just look, I'm turning these over now. We don't need to be in this energy. This is an ugly energy. <sighs> it's an ugly energy. This energy is a healing. It's, a, it's a preparing for the future energy. If we look at just at the Seven of Pentacles energy, um, we see somebody um, here who's pregnant. Looks like she's pregnant. She's holding her hand over a belly. Um, and we always know it's wrong to assume. So I don't want to assume that she is. And now that I say that, I'm kind of chuckling to myself because... Maybe she's not. I mean, let's give her a break here. She's a beautiful person. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say that anymore, honestly, because whatever. You'll see, you see her as you see her. I think she's a beautiful person. And look, she has a crop here that she's really excited about. This crop is obviously not ready to be harvested yet. And there's a lot that can still happen to this crop. Pests could come. Weather could come. Um, this crop is not just a guaranteed crop, but it sure is looking good. And it sure is getting close to harvest. Um, she's planning now for the future. She's thinking, okay, what is she going to do? How long does she have to wait? When is this crop going to be ready to be harvested? What is she going to do with it? Who's going to pick it? Who's going to come out and pick it? Where is she going to sell it? How is she going to transport it? All of these details. Um, and so it's going to take a little bit of time and there's some planning to be done. There's some investing in the future. Maybe she needs to buy transportation. Maybe she needs to buy a contract or she needs to um, buy a place at the market where she can put her stand or whatever she's going to do. There could be even some investments that need to be made. And I feel like this could take some time, maybe a couple of months, maybe a month. Um, it, if you're looking at it from a farmer, when a crop is in this in this in this state, I mean, it's already fully formed. It just needs to ripen. So we're not talking about a whole lot of time, but it might feel like a lot of time, right? Um, it might feel a lot of like a lot of time because there could be a lot at stake here, right? If you're looking at a farmer who has a crop that's almost ready, you know, anticipation and suspense is really can really be hard. Um, you know that in the last three or four weeks, the last four weeks, a lot can happen and there's a lot at stake. So there could be, when I get into this energy, there could be a little bit of an, um, anxiety here in this energy um, as you work towards something new. Um, but there is a new beginning here. There's an ending and a new beginning that's happening and you're working your way to it. All right. So that's this group of, of Taurus people here. All right. Let's look at what's coming in now in the future. what's happening now oh my gosh page of cups beautiful judgment energy i love it see two of swords all right five of wands yeah there, there's going to be some sort of an ending here nine of cups beautiful three of cups Knight of Swords. Oh boy, you're getting ready to take action, aren't you? You're getting ready to say what needs to be said. Watch out. Here you come, Taurus. Well, there's something new that's happening. Thank God there's something new. There's something here that's bringing in new inspiration, new warmth. There could be a new introduction here. There could be a new connection to a new job, a new home that you're moving to, a new project that really brings you inspiration. There's something here that you're inspired by. You feel warm hearted. You feel refreshed by this new opportunity, this new introduction, this maybe new dates that you're going on or a new job you connected in with or even a new hobby that you have, something that helps lift your spirits. Um, the Nine of Cups is over the top of this and over the top of the judgment energy. So this is something that you've really been wanting for a long time. 
with the Nine of Cups, something that you have been doing, you've been investing in yourself, you've been really understanding what brings you happiness and fulfillment with the, with the Nine of Cups is understanding what brings you, just like the Nine of Pentacles is having independence and personal strength and financial reliance on self, the Nine of Cups is having um, uh, understanding how to be happy by yourself, understanding how to bring fulfillment to yourself. It's, it's gaining personal, personal strength in your own inspiration, in your own happiness, in your own vitality. So it's, it's almost like the Ten of Cups is like a teamwork kind of energy. The Nine of Cups is like a singular self-healing, a healing type of energy. And you've been in this energy. So now there's something here that's really happening because of your focus on that, your interest in your own vitality and your own healing, your own inner well-being has brought in something new and inspiration for you. And it's a real change in your life. It's a real second chance at something. It's a, it's a new it's a new chapter. It's a new book. It's something here that you feel very inspired by. Um, and so there's something new that's coming in here in the future that's giving you, um, it's, it's a dream come true. It's really something beautiful that's happening in here um, for you. We have the three of cups here with the two of swords. So I, I just feel like This energy right here is very interesting. This is a very, I'm going to break this up just, just for a second here. I need to just get into this energy. I just feel like this could be a group dynamic that is going to be changing this change that's coming in here for you is going to impact some sort of group dynamic here. This could be a, um, a, a, a couple, a two people, intimate partners, family members. This could be work teammates, um, people, community, friends. Whatever this is for you is having some sort of an impact on this group dynamic. And a group dynamic can be two people. It could be three or four or five people. It could have something to do with happiness and joy of the group. It's going to impact this group somewhat. Um, but I think that is so that is okay. Because there's some sort of truth here. There, there's some kind of truth being brought forward here or somebody that has something to say. I think there's another person here who has something to say. There's going to be some sort of words being said here. Whatever this is, this is a treasure. This is a real treasure, right? This is a real treasure. Remember, we have the tower we have the tower next to the seven of swords. So whatever this is, this is a treasure. This is something to be treasured and fostered. And I feel like this is somewhat of a warning for Taurus to remember the beauty of this, to remember what you've been through. Because I feel like there's something in the future here that's going to come in that you're going to have to make a decision on. Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords energy is an energy of, well, I think with the Two of Swords, I feel like with the Two of Swords, there, there is usually some sort of a loser with the Two of Swords. Like there's somebody that's getting, there, there's somebody, the Two of Swords is, is, is realizing what's truth and what's not true. So it's like seeing the truth of a situation and you could have been confused about something or not seeing everything or you could have been waiting for some details to come in or waiting for some kind of information to crop up and i think what the two of swords is 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 really seeing the truth of it taking the blindfold off and i don't mean that in a patronizing way but somehow you're able to see you're somehow you're able to see the truth in something you're you're seeing the truth in something whereas before maybe you couldn't see it all the way this energy has released the truth. This energy here has brought truth forward. It's like the truth that's within yourself. You see the truth from the outside. You see the truth in something that's happening around you, probably with this group of people or this group dynamic here. And because you are healed now and you have inspiration and you have vitality within your heart center, 
um, you're able to see something in a different lens that helps you connect in with this new beautiful future. Whatever this is, I think there's going to be some sort of a communication in the future that helps you disconnect from whatever this is. So there is going to be a disconnection. There's going to be some sort of a disconnection communication. And I think that one of you, or there's going to be a group as, as you move forward into this new inspiration here, this new second chance, I think there's going to be a group of people or another person who is going to feel the loss of this. So there's going to be a loss that is felt. A loss, a loss that is felt, L-O-S-S, -S, that is felt with this truth that's being spoken. With this truth that's being recognized and truth that's being spoken, there is going to be some sort of a loss. And I think that the people or the person that is going to receive the loss is perhaps going to be a little surprised or might even be a little bit upset about this. But I just want to remind you here, this energy feels more like over here, to be honest with you. There, that feels better. Okay, that feels much better. So this energy is over here, this Three of Cups. I just want to remind you and not to forget about what beautiful energy is here and how far you've come and everything that you've learned um, as you move forward through this crisis energy. Um, you have something new that's happening here for you that's very healthy, very beautiful for you. Maybe it looks different than you have imagined in the past, but whatever this is, you're feeling young again. You're feeling inspired. You're feeling fresh and clean, and you're looking forward to a beautiful new future. And this energy over here is an energy of conflict. It's an energy of, ah, it's just, mm, this energy over here is an energy that's going to slow growth. It's going to... It's, it's an energy of, this energy here is clean and fresh, and this energy is very messy, isn't it? It's a different kind of energy. It's a very messy energy. It might have a front of it that might look good, but when you dig deeper into it, um, it, it could have just kind of a negative energy. It's a different energy. So whatever you're doing, you're moving away from this heavy energy, and there might be someone here that's upset about this or that is that is pushing up against what you're wanting to do. They're pushing up against it. They're, they're wanting to block it. They're wanting to stop it. They're wanting to question it and, and have you question yourself, right? So there, there's an energy here that you're going to confront as you move forward um, that, that is going to help you to realize what this is. So I think if you can really get these thoughts in order, get very sure-footed on what this is, Maybe write down, why do you feel inspired? Why do you feel warm-hearted? What is this new thing that's happening to you? And what is this beautiful new change for you? Um, this is a wish come true. Why is this a wish come true? And how come this has happened to you? Really get sure-footed with this because there's going to be something in the future that's going to teeter you a little bit. Now look at these energies, a two, a three, and a five. They're not significant. They're not, these energies are much more powerful. You have a nine here. You have judgment. And you have the Page of Cups. So whatever this is, this nine of this judgment energy, they're much more powerful energies. They're much more full of love. They're much more full of a higher frequency. It's much more powerful. These energies are just kind of empty, empty energies, but they will maybe hurt a little bit. Um, a two of swords or somebody here that's going to be the loser, probably this group of people here. They look happy and everything in the front. Everything looks good. But as you dig deeper, there's a little bit of toxic energy here. So I, I don't think it's anything to be truly concerned about. It's just something to know that it could very well happen as you move into the next couple of weeks or into the, the next three weeks. You could have to really kind of fight, kind of fight a little bit for this new beginning, but it's truly much more powerful. It's beautiful. And it's something that you've really worked hard to bring in for yourself. All right, let's look at the guidance here for you, Taurus. Let's look at guidance here for Taurus. What is the guidance? Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the King of Swords. Yeah. You know, the five energies, and this is the third five. All right. So if you want to look up 555, five, five, you can. I'm not learned in numerology or any of that, but we have five energies. And I always feel like the five energies, if you have enough of them, it's the tower. It's like a slow tower. And we also have the tower coming out. So there's a lot of change here for you. I like that the King of Swords is here 
Taurus. So the King of Swords is an energy of making a decision, seeing the big picture and making a logical, rational decision and being firm in that decision, not allowing um, there to be any wiggle room or any abstract energy. Well, I guess if you want to, you can come over, but I really don't want you. No, mm -mm. King of Swords is like, no, nope, done. I see the truth, done. Swift, sharp, con concerted decision, King of Swords. See? You don't mess around with the King of Swords. All right. Now we have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. These are very uncomfortable energies. Five of Pentacles is an energy of fear of consequences of making a decision. Honestly, that's what it is in, in entirety. Fear of consequences of making a decision. What would happen if I do this? What will happen? Will I be left out in the cold? Will I be financially destitute? Will I not have any friends anymore? It's like all the fears that you have kind of come bubbling to the top, right? It's a very uncomfortable energy, right? There could even be um, some kind of consequences you have here financially. But with the Five of Pentacles, remember, it is a thing that we have to step through. It's a, it's a, it's part of our fear and our ego that we have to step through if we're going to get into something new. We have to step into... Um, we have to step into insecurity. We have to step into our fears if we're going to get to the other side of whatever this river is that we're in or whatever this canyon is. We have to cross it. And it's tenuous. It's insecure. It's vulnerable. It, it makes us feel very unsure about our future. Um, I don't think it's anything to be worried about. It is something that is pretty much typical when we go through transition, but it can be a very uncomfortable energy. Just remember who you are. Remember how hard you've worked. Remember how you've gotten to this point through your ability to work hard, to have trust in your abilities, to, to have, be powerful as the Taurus energy. You guys are powerful, powerful people and you have the ability and you have the capabilities and you have the skills to continue moving forward. And you know that within yourself, you know who you are. We have the five of swords. Now I think the five of swords is probably having to, something to do with this five of pentacles because there's somebody here that is putting you into a five of mentality. This is question your own thoughts, questioning your own reasoning, questioning what is good for you. And when you question that, why do you question that? It's because of what other people say, the needs of other people, the desires and the wants of other people, because it's kind of a selfish energy, isn't it? The five of swords. Is it truly selfish or is it, are other people saying it's selfish? It's something to really think about. Is this selfish for me or are other people being selfish? What have I been doing in the past that has been giving? What have I been doing in the past for myself? Because there is an energy change with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is taking energy that's been spread out to all different kinds of people and taking that energy back now to, into yourself and using that within yourself to better yourself. And when you take energy away from other people, when you take it back into yourself, what do those other people do? Well, they cry out. They get angry. They say you're being selfish. They say you're being um, self-centered. This is not about that. This is saying, you know what? I'm going to take all this energy that my body creates from the food that I eat, the rest that I have, the intentions that I have, the education that I went to school for. I'm going to take all of this energy that I have, that I've been giving to all of you people that have betrayed me, that have taken from me. I'm going to take all this energy back to myself and I'm going to make decisions that are in my own best interest. And I'm going to move forward in a way that's beneficial for me. Now, is that selfish? I don't think so. But will other people say it is? They might. Be strong and remember who you are, Taurus. Remember who you are. These are uncomfortable energies, but they are energies that we step through. Now, I like, again, that the King of Swords is here. He's going to help you be logical and rational. He's going to help you make good decisions that are fair and equal. Right. So I think as you walk away, I think that you're going to be fair in this situation. King of Swords is fair. You know, he's not. See, the King of Wands energy can be. OK, how do I say this? The King of Swords is very logical. He can see the truth in all areas. He can see the reality in all your areas. He can see what this person thinks and feels. He can see what this person thinks and feels. And I think the King of Swords is able to make a fair decision, a fair decision. So when you walk away after this squirmish or after this fight that you've had, I think that you're going to know in the heart of hearts that what you're doing is fair. So I think what these people see, they still have... I think that what you're going to do is make decisions that are fair. And I think that you're going to feel comfortable in that. Now, if you take another energy, let's take, let's take the King of Wands, for example. If the King of Wands is going to have a fight like this, 
I, it might not be so fair because the king of wands is full of vigor and passion and raw energy. The king of swords is much more logical and rational and, and slow moving and slow thinking. So I think this, the, I really have confidence that you're going to be able to do these five energies. Um, that it is change and is part of change, but I have confidence that you'll be able to do it. And you're going to move forward. Remember, remember into the six of pentacles, which is equality, right? It's equality. It is balance. It's financial um, improvement. It's a really good energy. So you're moving from the five energies into the six. And this is going to be happening over the next period of time. All right, Taurus, so now I think I'm done with this reading. I'm going to move into the extended. Let me take a few minutes to determine what energies I'm going to, I'm going to dig deeper into. Um, I don't think I'm going to dig into the fives. I would prefer not. Look, see, you have five, five, three fives here. Um, what I am going to dig into are energies that are much more appealing, much more appealing and exciting. I don't think any of these. I am going to dig into... This Knight of Swords energy, this Nine of Cups energy, the Page of Cups energy, and this World energy. So this, these four energies is I'm going to dig in deeper. Um, what is this new feeling of inspiration? Is it a new introduction? Um, let's see if we can get more information about this Page of Cups. Let's see if we can get more information about this wish coming true. And this, I think a lot of it is an ending, but let's see if we can see a little bit more about the beginning. And I think you're here to speak some sort of truth. And I want to see what kind of energy is around that. So that's what I'm going to look at in the extended. And then we'll move the situation out four waves of energy. So we're going to start with the month of March and go in through June. Um, now, when I say that, um, we have to remember, Taurus, that timing with tarot is not very accurate. I prefer to say waves of energy, um, but if we want to use months, we can. I mean, we have to classify it somehow, and we have to have some trust and spirit that they're going to work with us on this. So that's what the extended is going to be. I'm going to move into that now, and I will see those of you who are interested on the other side. Otherwise, um, if you're if you're happy with this reading, if you're feel comfortable with it. That makes me really happy because I am here on YouTube to do this. So um, that makes me happy if you are satisfied with this reading as is. All right, um, my beautiful Taurus people, thank you very much for being here and have a wonderful weekend. Um, it is Valentine's Day on the 14th of February. Um, this reading is supposed to go through the end of February, maybe into early March. Um, whatever that time frame is, I wish you the best, my beautiful friends. Thank you very much.